Hello everyone and welcome to the Arthur Murray Lifestyle Series. I'm Victoria Regan, the Global Ambassador for Arthur Murray International. First Place Studio, First Place Teacher Awards and many First Place Student Awards can only be achieved when the Arthur Murray system is in place, a fearless team spirit, and, well, phenomenal franchisees. Cha Ling Chang and Brian Stewart are here to share their success story and the mindset they believe it takes to reach the top. Thank you so much, Victoria, for inviting us to be part of the Arthur Murray Lifestyle Series. We're really honored and excited to be here and share a little bit of what has, uh, has helped us do what we've done over the years. I want to share brief stories before I come to Arthur Murray. So I started dancing around three years old and I studied ballet. Then when I was about 17 years old, I come to America and I studied in Southern Illinois University in Carbondale. And my major was music. I play piano and viola. And that's where Brian and I met. Right. The only dancing I was really exposed to before college was seeing the movie Footloose when I was a kid. Um, that got me a little interested, but not enough to do it. So once I got to school, uh, I still had no interest. I joined the scuba club and she had joined the ballroom dance uh, club and she happened to be helping with that class. And my scuba instructor was teaching both of those classes. So he blackmailed me into taking ballroom dance lessons. Um, and that's where I met her. In ballroom dance club, we met a lot of friends and we really enjoy it. And after a while, Brian and I start running together and be the leader of the club. And we bring club from 30 members to over 100 members uh, within the time we were there. And we had such a great time. We learned so much of how to run business then in college. And I would say that's where we get started. Yeah, I think we probably learned a lot more from running the ballroom dance club in school than really we did from any of our classes. Um, she was voted president, I was voted vice president as, as usual. <laughs> and, uh, um, but yeah, we had a lot of fun. We were able to really uh, increase the club activity and went to all kinds of trips, did all kinds of fundraisers. And, and we just learned a lot about how to bring people together and run a dance organization. And a very, very important question. What about your introduction to Arthur Murray's? So after we graduated, um, Cha Cha really wanted to work in the dance industry. I did not, uh, but we've been coaching with a really well-known uh, champion coach and his mother owned a studio, a small studio, and she suggested actually that Cha-Cha go and work at Arthur Murray. She heard that, that Jill DeMarle was opening an Arthur Murray's up in Chicagoland, and that's where she said we should go. So when I first walked into Chicago studio, Jill was seeing painter's clothes up there painting the wall. And when I go in and meet her, we had an interview. Um, that's right before I graduate. And at first she wasn't so sure about hiring me because of my language skill. And I also seem a little quiet. But then afterwards she gave me an opportunity. She trained me, she gave me confidence and belief in me and get me from teaching zero lessons to 52 lessons a week in about three months. And the little girl from Taiwan don't speak English. I'm so forever grateful. And from there, I was on my way to be a counselor, manager, and future franchisees of Arthur Murray. And for me, it took some convincing. I, uh, I had majored in international business and Chinese, so I didn't really think dancing was a real job. So I was fine with her doing it, but I really uh, resisted. But eventually, Jill and Quentin and Cha Cha, uh, within about a year or two, had convinced me to go ahead and start doing some dancing. Um, so I started working out in Morton Grove underneath her manager there, Daniel Sicky, and he taught me a lot. I'm really grateful for uh, all of the tutelage that he gave me along the way. Um, and then eventually, again, I also became a counselor at that studio. Uh, and so we were working for Jill in two separate studios, both in management positions. Along with your amazing business training, I believe you received a lot of great dance training and competed for quite a while. Yes, we did, and we really enjoy it. And you know what? At the time when when we just started, she really truly believed in training powerhouses. So she always say that if you want to run a good dance business, you need to compete, you need to know how to manage, you need to know how to train, you need to know how to inspire, you need to know how to run parties, how to connect with people. So. I learned it all when I'm there with her, and I'm very grateful. They gave us a very good foundation for our future business. Joe was really great at showing us how to make things flow. Um, and competitions taught us a lot about that as well. 
because we had done a few college competitions before we came to Arthur Murray's, but nothing like an Arthur Murray competition. So we were blown away once we saw what that was all about. And uh, we loved every minute of it. We competed for about eight years, eight, nine years in smooth. Um, and we had a great time. We had amazing coaches. Obviously, Arthur Murray's has some of the best coaches in the world. And we got to take as many coachings as we possibly could. Um, and yeah, I mean, overall, I think competition is very important to just developing your understanding of the business. And um, it's really great to see what it does for students and to feel what it does for you, because then you can really relate. Um, and I think it's a big part of what makes Arthur Murray's great and that brings everybody together as a family. Um, we wouldn't trade our competition experience for anything. So at what point, Cha-Cha and Brian, did you feel ready to open your own studio? And what was that transition like? By the time we both experienced almost every position in the studio, besides being a franchisee, and also we're thinking about wanting to start a family, they say, hey, now it's time to opening our own studio. Yeah. And even though the economy kind of crashed at that point in time, and a lot of people were saying, oh, maybe not a good time to do it, maybe you should wait. We decided, no, we planned this, we're ready to go. We loved the area up in Lincolnshire, it really felt like home, and we uh, felt like we understood the people up there. And, fit right in. So we decided to go ahead and get the studio open and we're really glad we did. Within the first three years, we made a million dollars in the studio. And um, yeah, and that's what we've been uh, you know, pushing further towards that two million mark ever since. This leads us to what it takes to reach the top. Can you both share your list of key factors or secrets, if you like, for the success that you have been able to maintain? I think the first one for us is fearless. I think opening a business is scary and there's always going to be so many obstacles on the way, but taking the fearless kind of attitude towards things, it makes the box move forward so that you can always continue growing and moving to the next level. I think uh, the second would be just to visualize and understand what it is you want out of your business and visualize and um, set yourself up for success, have a goal. And for us, that goal was we want to build out the studio as a $2 million studio. And uh, we knew that we were going to get there someday. We're still working towards that. But um, just visualizing your future and making sure that you build things in the way that's going to support that vision. Third one, I think, is building strong relationship with both our students and our teachers, because we truly believe this is a people's business. So the more effort we put in to connect people together, the better culture will create for ourselves. Two things really there is, uh, is you know, building the team and changing things, and then team teaching. Team teaching has been absolutely game changer for us. And the sixth point is actually really able to maximize all individual team member strength. And I think we are so grateful to work with a team that is always give us their best. And we could never get here without our amazing people that work with us every single day in and day out. And we really want to take this chance to thank all of our teachers and especially our executives throughout all different times. You guys are amazing and we love you. For us, we came up, come up with it obviously, but just doing the right thing. That's kind of our, our biggest number one uh, feeling about life and about business in general is if we do the right thing um, by us, by the students, by the staff, then things are always gonna turn out the way that they need to turn out. In addition to the standard training, let's talk about the importance of the all-star competition for your teachers and executives and your participation in all the dance aromas. When we opened Lincolnshire, that's when Arthur Murray started to bring all-star back into the training process. And I remember I was so excited and uh, our team together, we use a lot of simulations. We train day in and day out. We do it in the meetings. We do it when staff have a break. And a lot of times, the training is so good that staff love to use it in the ballroom. And I quite often, I can walk by someone, they'll be using past, present, and future. They were using one of the teaching technique. And that is what made me so happy. And I think this is a wonderful tool that Arthur Murray gave it to teachers and franchisees that really set us apart. And as I mentioned before, we uh, did some competing for about eight years, so we ended up at a lot of dance dance-ramas. We actually both had a lot of competition students throughout the years. There was one competition where 
I actually ended up with seven women and over 300 entries at one competition. That was interesting. And Cha Cha's had kind of something similar before. So we really learned a lot about how much that can motivate students and motivate the whole studio, really, even the ones who don't go to the dance rama, just through hearing about that experience. And we pass that on to our staff and uh, let everybody know that if, if uh, somebody goes to a dance rama, it just really supercharges their dancing and their experience at Arthur Murray's. And on top of that, why go to a dance rama and sit around instead of dance? So uh, our our culture is really doing anywhere from 80 to 200 or more entries per student. And I think that that's kind of been a, a, a cohesive part of what we've done at Dance Rooms. Charlene, you must be very excited about your upcoming executive training in Marlton alongside of Britt Evans, as this is another honor and great milestone in your career. Yes, I was so honored and excited about this opportunity. And uh, just to be honest, at first I was also very nervous. But I remember once Hunter Johnson told me, he said, hey, there are so many people before you in store knowledge in you, believe in you. And now people ask you to do something, it's time for you to give back. So that forever imprinted in my head. And now I'm so excited, not even mentioned to train alongside by Brad Evan. She is such an inspiration person for me. And throughout the year, she also helped me so much. Uh, Cha Cha has done quite a few of these before, not, not the international training, but for TOCs and fall forms. And it's been really fun for me to watch her prepare for this kind of stuff because she just tears away at maybe nine or 10 books, just goes into full on learning mode to make sure that she has new and fresh exciting ideas to present to everybody so that she can help everybody you know, you know, succeed and uh, attain everything that they've been trying to attain themselves. How is your marketing plan within the community and has it been successful? So over the years, we've done a lot of community outreach um, when it comes to marketing. We've done Fourth of July parades, floats where the teachers dance on them. We've done Christmas parades. We've done fundraisers. We've done all kinds of art fairs and local community food fairs. We try and get our name out there as much as we possibly can so that Arthur Murray's is synonymous with dancing when people think about it in our area. Uh, but really what's been the biggest draw for us and, and the best benefit has been guest parties and word of mouth. Our best guest catcher is our daughter, Viola Stewart. Well, we all have seen Viola on the dance floor. She's already an accomplished dancer and beautiful young lady. So I thought it would be fun if we invite her to share her success story of how she gets guests and her plans for the future. Please welcome Viola. Thank you, Victoria. I would love to tell you my secret. I've grown up in the studio and throughout my life, I've seen the positive effect on people of all ages that dancing gives them. And I absolutely love dancing with my friends. So whenever I'm at school, I promote them to come into the studio. And because of three things, one, it's great exercise. Two, it creates self-confidence. And three, they just have so much fun. I've gotten quite a few of my friends to come in so far and they just can't get enough of it. In regards to my dancing, I absolutely love it. And uh, someday I would like to become a Arthur Ray Smooth champion and possibly also a nine dance champion. Although I'm really wanting to open schools when I'm older and hopefully inherit the Lincolnshire studio. <laughs> and I also have one of my friends that competes who is also possibly thinking of opening a studio when he's older. She can open studios and take care of us. Yay! So we can retire. More Arthur Murray Studios in the future. Thank you, Cha Ling and Brian, for your incredible integrity and commitment to developing the next generation. And thank you, Viola. Congratulations to all of you and your Arthur Murray team for the accolades and awards, and I definitely look forward to seeing you at the next Dance Rama. Bye. Thank you, Victoria. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, we've had a lot of fun. Thank you so much to all of the Arthur Murray leadership and everybody who's made all of everything that Arthur Murray does possible. We really owe Arthur Murray for everything in our lives, so we're very grateful. Thank you. Bye. And thanks to all of you for watching and supporting the Lifestyle Series. And the usual message is to keep on dancing. <laughs>